What happens when you have a more acidic ocean is that it makes it harder for organisms that build their shells or skeletons out of calcium carbonate to execute that shell building process. And so corals or clams, for example, or snails all have a harder time building their shells. Ocean acidification is actually slowing down the rate at which coral reefs grow. My name is Nancy Knowlton. I'm the SANT Chair of Marine Science here at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. Ocean acidification refers to the fact that as we emit more and more carbon dioxide into the atmosphere, some of it dissolves in the ocean. And when water combines with carbon dioxide, it forms carbonic acid, which is changing the chemistry of the ocean and making it more acidic. My name's Whitman Miller, and I'm a research scientist at the Smithsonian Environmental Research Center in Edgewater, Maryland. We would like to know how acidification in coastal systems is going to affect the ecology in these systems. Unlike the open ocean, a coastal system, or an estuary especially, is a much more dynamic place with respect to the carbonate chemistry. Coastal systems are very dominated by biological activities, so photosynthesis, respiration, decay, all of these things can really affect uh, the dynamics and the tempo of the carbonate chemistry. We're really interested in getting more and more measurements in coastal systems, and so using the CO2 scout, this instrument that we've developed, you actually bring air and water into equilibrium such that the air reflects the concentration of gas in water. And so once you do that, once you equilibrate the air with the water, you can then actually measure the concentration of the air and be able to say what the concentration is in the water. The beauty of that is that the little infrared gas analyzer that you use is not soaking in the water, not getting biofouled, not seeing changes in salinity, the most innovative thing, I suppose, has to do with cost. Historically, these have been really expensive instruments. What we've tried to do is, is use modern and more economical um, components for the instrumentation, and also to scale the size down. There's a lot to be learned, and under changing world, we want to sort of look forward and see what it is that we're, we're dealing with. Ocean acidification, the cause is actually really simple, and it's the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. So anything that people can do to reduce burning of fossil fuels, increase the efficiency with which they use the fossil fuels, any of those steps makes a difference. And I think the other promising thing is that there are many technologies that are being developed now uh, which are showing real promise to increase the ability of, of human society to disentangle itself from a fossil fuel economy. If we actually take the problems that the ocean faces seriously, we can address a lot of them. A lot of the potential damage in the future could in fact be prevented if we take the situation seriously. And I'm cautiously optimistic.